The Wright brothers showed that powered flight in Earth's atmosphere was possible, using an experimental aircraft. With ingenuity, we're trying to do the same for Mars. These are the words of Harvard Grip, the chief pilot of the Mars helicopter at JPL. On February 18, 2021, the long-awaited Perseverance rover is all set to reach Mars, finally touching down on the Martian surface. But you know what, it's not traveling alone, rather it is carrying a tiny passenger alongside it named, Ingenuity. Yes. Inside its belly, the Perseverance is carrying Ingenuity, a cute little helicopter that will soon make its first flight on the Red Planet, thereby becoming the first ever helicopter to enjoy a powered flight on a planet other than Earth. But how is this helicopter different from the helicopters flying on Earth? What is it aiming to do? And most importantly, how is NASA going to fly a helicopter on a planet that differs from Earth's atmosphere in several aspects? To have an answer to all these questions, stick with us till the end of the video. In general, a helicopter on Earth is accompanied by a set of spinning wings called blades or rotors on its top. As the blades spin, they create a force that allows the helicopter to push the air below it, and then rise high into the sky. Undoubtedly the atmosphere's density, and the surrounding region's air pressure play a crucial role in lifting the copter for a smooth flight. However, the atmosphere on Mars is quite different from ours. The air surrounding the red planet is just 1% the density of the Earth's atmosphere. Now with so little air to move around, achieving lift on Mars will indeed be a challenging task. Although Mars' gravity is just 38% of Earth's gravity, it will somehow assist the chopper during its flight. But still, even with that assistance, we won't be able to fly a vehicle on Mars by using the same technologies that we use to fly a helicopter on our planet. To overcome the atmosphere-related issues, the engineering team had come up with a unique structural design for the chopper. Since the atmosphere on Mars is incredibly thin, to achieve liftoff, the chopper has to push a lot of air downwards, and the only way to do this is to make the helicopter's blades spin as fast as possible. Typically, a helicopter on Earth has its blades spinning at about 500 rpm, but Ingenuity is designed in a way to make its blades reach a spinning speed of about 2300 to 2500 rpm. That's about five times faster than a typical helicopter on Earth. Furthermore, to make the helicopter as compact and lightweight as possible, so as to make it fit well inside the rover's tummy, engineers opted for a simple design where four large carbon fiber blades, fashioned into two counterrotating rotors, that span about 4 feet are supporting a 1.8 kg helicopter. Ingenuity is further powered by 635 to 40 WH lithium-ion cells. The batteries will regularly get recharged via the solar panel placed on top of the chopper. But an amazing fact to notice is that the helicopter will use only one-third of its entire battery capacity for flying, whereas the remaining two-thirds energy will be used in keeping its electronic boards warm in Mars frigid weather conditions. You might be thinking, how will Ingenuity be controlled? The information takes approximately 20 minutes to travel from Earth to Mars. This means that if you send a command to Ingenuity right now, it will execute it after 20 minutes. So if Ingenuity spots a hurdle in its way and informs you about it, there is a great possibility that by the time you got that message and sent the savior command to it, Ingenuity would have already met with an accident and suffered damage. Looking at this, operating the drone with a joystick control in our hands doesn't seem to be an intelligent option. So as a solution to this, Ingenuity has been installed with some autonomy sensors, including gyros, accelerometer, cameras, altimeters, and inclinometers, which will guide it in making smart decisions throughout its Mars voyage, thereby assisting Ingenuity to fly autonomously on a lonely world. Since it's for the first time that we will fly a helicopter on our neighboring planet, it was crucial to test the helicopter for the possible conditions it will meet on Mars. So before the scheduled launch, Ingenuity was tested several times in a vacuum chamber at NASA's JPL, where engineers simulated a Mars-like atmosphere. 
The helicopter has shown promising results in the test flights, and is expected to perform in the same manner at Mars. When Ingenuity takes off for the first time on the Red Planet, it will hover just a few feet from the ground, for about 20 to 30 seconds before landing. And if it turns out to be a successful first flight, the team will attempt up to four other tests within a month's time frame, each gradually pushing the limits of distance and altitude, just like a baby bird learning to fly. For the first few flights, the team plans to opt for only mid-morning flights, around 11 a.m., when the temperature and atmospheric conditions would be favorable enough for the drone's heating and flying. At the max, the helicopter is designed to fly for 90 seconds in a single flight. Although this seems to be a very short flight, it is definitely a long one considering it to be a first of its kind, and as they say, to learn to run, one has to at least begin with crawling. It is worth mentioning that Ingenuity is not aiming for any scientific discoveries on Mars. Although it has cameras on board, their only job is to capture some aerial shots of the surroundings and perseverance. The helicopter Ingenuity is a high-risk project, and if it turns out to be successful, it will guide us to take up advanced aerial projects on the Red Planet. In the future, helicopters on Mars missions could act as robotic scouts, that won't only view the terrain from above that rovers cannot access, but would also serve as spacecraft carrying scientific instruments. They might even be able to help future astronauts someday to explore the Red Planet. Share this video with your friends, and also watch this video of 10 of the most exciting space missions in 2021.